Hello everyone. To solve this puzzle, we're gonna go ahead and divide everything by 36 to the power x because 36 is the largest base. Now when we do that, this is gonna give us one, which is good. Nine out of 36, that is one fourth, so we can write it as one fourth to the power x. And 18 goes into 36 two times or twice. So now we can write it as one half. Now what is so cool about this equation is that we can call this something. I mean this one. How about you? If that's you, this is me. No, I mean u squared. So now we get the following. 1 plus u squared equals u, or u squared minus u plus 1 equals 0. Uh-oh, we don't get real solutions. That's okay. Let's go ahead and solve them. So u can be written as negative b, 1, plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, which is obviously the square root of 3i. Why? Because it's 1 minus 4, which is negative 3. But when you square root it, that becomes imaginary, right? Imagine what that's going to look like. And of course, the whole thing is divided by 2. So there are two solutions. And let me just show you one because the other one is very, very similar. So set 1 half to the power x equal to u, which you can write as 1 plus root 3i divided by 2. Yes, that's a complex number. You can go on an ln both sides. And when you do, you're going to get something like this. x times ln 1 half equals ln 1 plus root 3i divided by 2. And from here, you can easily find x, right? ln 1 plus root 3i. Let me go ahead and fix this a little bit. 1 plus root 3i over 2 divided by ln 1 half, which you can also write as negative ln 2. I don't like fractions, do you? And then we can leave it at that. Or find ln of this complex number. What is the ln of a complex number? Well, first you ln the modulus, which is the absolute value. Let me just tell you, it's one, so ln one would be zero. And then you do plus i times the argument. What's the argument for one plus three, root three i over two? If you think about it, the tangent theta is root three, which is 60 degrees, or pi over three. So this is just gonna be i times pi over three divided by negative ln two. And you can leave it like that or put the negative sign here because it, you don't want it to be in the denominator. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Bye.